Understanding the phrase, inward looking. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating phrase, inward looking. This phrase is not just about vocabulary, but also about understanding a mindset. So, let's dive in and unravel its meaning together. Inward looking is a phrase that describes a person or an organization that focuses primarily on internal matters rather than external ones. This could mean focusing on personal feelings, thoughts, and problems, or an organization concentrating on its own affairs rather than engaging with external issues. It's important to note that being inward looking is not inherently negative. It often involves self-reflection and introspection. To better understand inward looking, let's see it in different contexts. For instance, one personal context. After the breakup, she became more inward looking, focusing on her own growth. Two organizational context. The company has been inward looking, focusing on improving internal processes. These examples show how the phrase can be applied to both individuals and groups. Knowing synonyms and antonyms helps in understanding the phrase's nuance. Synonyms. Introspective. Self-analyzing. Self-observing. Antonyms. Outward-looking. Extroverted. Engaged with the external world. These words provide a broader understanding of what it means to be inward-looking. How can you use inward-looking in everyday conversation? Here are a couple of examples. I've been feeling very inward looking lately, trying to understand my own motivations. Our team needs to be less inward looking and more aware of the competition. These sentences demonstrate practical usage in spoken English. I hope this video has given you a clear understanding of what it means to be inward looking. Remember, it's a phrase that captures a focus on the internal, whether it's emotions, thoughts, or organizational policies. Keep practicing, and you'll soon be using this phrase like a native speaker. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next lesson.